It is now my pleasure to also invite for opening remarks Professor Sanjoy Bhattacharya. I got it right this time. Professor in the History of Medicine and Director Center for Global Health Histories at the University of York, who I'm sure is equally passionate and wise. Well, first of all, I'm delighted to be here and I'd like to thank all of you in this room. I know all of you are very busy uh, and have a lot of time constraints. I'm genuinely, genuinely very, very grateful uh, to see so many uh, passionate and wise colleagues in this room. Um, I'm, I'm delighted uh, uh, on behalf of the University of York to be working uh, with uh, the Ministry of Health and other health colleagues uh, from Sri Lanka. Uh, and uh, I would also like to extend my thanks uh, uh, from my colleagues at the World Health Organization, uh, the uh, European Regional Office with whom we run these global health history seminars and have done so for about 10 years. Uh, and as you can see, this is the 102nd uh, such seminar. The idea of these seminars is to bring together uh, people from different disciplines. So, uh, what uh, my honorable colleague just mentioned, the multi-sectoral approach as a means of bringing in academics from a wide range of academic disciplines who bring in their evidence-based research and then use these fora to discuss that research with health officials, again, from a very wide-ranging uh, 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 sort of uh, uh, expertise so that people can learn from each other, discuss data and then use that shared learning for effective public health action. Now when we use the word histories we like to study the recent past through oral history, through unpublished documents uh, and the WHO archives are incredibly rich. They're incredibly rich in relation not only to what happened in New York, Geneva, or indeed Copenhagen, but also what was discussed between the WHO and the health leaders of specific countries. So my journey uh, in trying to understand Sri Lanka and its enormous contributions uh, to uh, international health have been through these unpublished papers uh, since uh, the 1950s uh, relating to what was then Ceylon and is now Sri Lanka. And I think there is now general agreement within the WHO that this independent and detailed research into these historical methods can actually help contemporary health action. Uh, and, and, and the WHO Global Health Histories uh, project is an official WHO activity. It's an audited UN activity. This is not a group of people getting together uh, to have an informal discussion. This sort of uh, joint work is actually feeding back both into discussions about policy design and policy evaluation. So I'm absolutely thrilled to be working with all of you on today's event and I hope that this collaboration will continue over the long term where we'll be able to identify with your help what major issues are and then we will bring uh, funders like the Wellcome Trust and the Gates Foundation into the mix so that they can help us organize such gatherings where we can openly discuss uh, if necessary agree to disagree but challenge each other uh, with research uh, that we are collecting from our different contexts to try and find solutions because I think all of us are passionate about one thing that is improving the health for all concerned but especially those uh, who are the most socially disadvantaged so I think we're all united in that goal to improve healthcare. so thank you so much for being here and a special thanks to Dr. Suranga Dolamula it's been absolute pleasure working with him at the University of York. Thank you.